This is the Action Movie Guys podcast, bringing you action movie reviews from across the decades, plus box office numbers and insight like never before. And now, your hosts of the Action Movie Guys podcast, Alex and Nate. What's up, everyone? Welcome to episode 42 of the Action Movie Guys podcast. I'm your host, Nate, and that is my co-host, Alex Figueroa. And we are here to talk about uh, a Western. We're in our month of Westerns, if you will. Last week, we did the good, the bad, and the ugly. This week, we are talking about 2010 True Grit. Another, uh, this was a remake of the original True Grit, which starred John Wayne. Um, and this one, of course, directed by the Coen brothers, starring Jeff Bridges, Matt Damon, Haley Steinfeld, Josh Brolin. I mean, this thing got a cast. So uh, we're going to be going over this. Now, Alex, uh, have you seen Had you seen this movie before? Watching the, this? All right, so I'd never seen the original. So I never seen the original, so I can't base it off of that. But I seen this movie only when I purchased it on Blu-ray. So oh, so it's been a good yeah, 10 it's years, been a long much time. Yeah, it. all right, yeah, very good. Um, yeah, I haven't seen this in years. I want to say maybe the theater. Uh, then I bought it, came out in a steelbook, bought that, and then this is my first time putting it in. So, um, looking forward to talking about this. Now, before we start, please, if you're watching the video and you're enjoying it. Please go ahead and hit like down at the bottom and subscribe. If you're listening to us on the go, Apple Podcast, Stitcher, wherever you're listening to us, make sure you subscribe so you get the, the downloads every week. Leave us some comments. We're really blowing up currently in Mexico, Canada, <laughs> and the Philippines. We're, yeah. we're, we're, we're charting. We're charting, baby. The action movie guys, they love their action movies over there. Uh, U.S. is coming soon. So please continue listening, um, and we're going to keep reviewing these movies for you. Now, let's give them the criteria. Then we're going to give them the old box office numbers and the old Rotten Tomatoes. And then we'll give you uh, the Alex Tomatoes and Nate Tomatoes. Um, All right. Our criteria is lead character, main villain, action scenes, storyline, overall. Then we give it a total out of 25. And we're going to get to that in one second. But first, Alex, uh, box office. Now, this is where I guess how much it made. And Alex tells me I'm wrong. I've been right exactly one time. That was Black Panther. I got it spot on. Uh, but I've been close a lot. Um, I remember this being kind of a big hit. Uh, I do believe this made a lot of money. Now, it's a Western, so I have to temper my a lot of money. You know what I mean? Um, I'm going to say this made $168.5 million. $168.5 million at the U.S. box office. Are you locking that in? I'm locking it in. Put All me right. in for 168 and a half. So here we go. True Grit from 2010 box office numbers. Domestic, $171,243,500. Uh, international, $81,033,922. On a worldwide total of $252,276,900. Twenty-seven dollars on a budget of thirty-eight million dollars. Oh my gosh! All right, so I was only two and a half. I was only two and a half million off. That's yeah. pretty good. Uh, but goodness, thirty. This this had a budget under forty million and made over two hundred million worldwide. That is what I like to call a hit. Um, all right, and this was a big movie for the Coen Brothers. Kind of put them back on the map after they had been off for a few years. You know what I mean? Uh, or not off, but you know they didn't have like a big hit like this um all right now rotten tomatoes alex what do you think this received critically and audience score i will give this a 88 both um uh 88 and i guess the audience i will give the audience um you know what yeah i'll go with both 88 oh going with the the double 88 all right once again you're very close on one of them. Um, so one of these is near 88. Now, audience or critical score, top of the line movie, 95% on Rotten Tomatoes. All the critics love this movie. It was very well received, very well reviewed. Um, audience is where you're very close. It was 85% audience. Oh, score. Was, so okay. everyone loved it. It made a ton of money. The reviews were great, and the audience reviews were great. So None of that matters, though, because uh, we're going to review it here for you with <laughs> our scores. It doesn't yeah. matter what they reviewed. Do we like it? Now, you get to go first. Lead character. Now, we did have to talk about it. Jeff Bridges is the name, uh, you know, the number one name on the marquee. Yeah. We are scoring Haley Steinfeld's character as this is her story, really. She's opening narration. 
closing narration. She's in the whole movie. So she's the main uh, lead character that we're scoring. Yeah, so the lead character, I thought she was really good. I, I, I thought she was very, um, she was very believable. Um, I love her southern accent or her western mm-hmm. accent, you want to call it. I thought it was really cool. I, I love how she was very, um, she was very strong woman. Like yeah. she dem- she knew her laws. She knew a lot of stuff. Um, going, she demanded. I love how she was flaunting money around, like lawyers and all that. And honestly, I thought she was really good. She played very well with Matt Damon and uh, Jeff Bridges. I thought they had a great chemistry between the three, um, in terms of all that. And and I liked it. I gave her a four point five. I thought she was Ooh. a really good lead uh, for the movie. Nice. Yeah, yeah I agree. Look, I, I agree, and I'm gonna give it the. I'm gonna give it the half point. I gave her a five. Um, I think number one, she's a very well written character, a strong female character. She's only 14 years old in the movie. She's like a teenager. You know what I mean? But very strong minded, very assertive. Like you said, is always threatening people with lawyers, knows money, knows how knows how the world works. Because as you know, as you watch the movie, you know, her her father's dead and her mom. She keeps talking about how dumb her mom is pretty much like her mom can't even count or read or anything right so she's kind of had to mature and grow up fast um Haley steinfeld just put her on the map this was like her first big role she's fantastic in the role so the acting the acting goes along with how well the character is written and when you get a nice combo like that it's a five out of five for me i think she's fantastic and really funny has a lot of funny this movie's funnier than it's not a comedy but it's funnier than you might think as far as a western goes um really good humor so yeah i loved her all right main villain so the person they are going after the entire movie is played by Josh Brolin. He's the main villain. He basically is a character who killed Haley Steinfeld's father. Mm-hmm. And she's now hiring a bounty hunter to, or it's a, he's a Texas, uh, no, no, he's a U.S. Marshal, but it's basically a bounty. Um, she hired a U.S. Marshal to track him down so she can get justice for her father's death. Okay. He's barely in this movie, Josh Brolin. He's in this movie on screen for like eight minutes or something like that. So he's just an off-screen presence the whole time who you hear about. You know, you know he did this crime. They say he's done other crimes. You know he's a bad guy, but you don't really see him being bad. You don't hear from him. You don't see him. I gave him a two because when he does show up, he's pretty – he has a, some – you know, he's definitely menacing. Um, but I can't give him a great score because he's barely in the movie. Um, it doesn't affect the movie per se, but for our criteria, we score villains and he's – He's barely there, but when he's there, he's cool. So I gave him a two. You know, honestly, I, you know, it's funny. You, you uh, scored him and then I scored the other dude on um, that. The, the gang? One, the, yeah, I scored the, the, the Barry main. Pepper, I think Barry Pepper played him. Yeah, the main guy that yeah. the, the Marshall's going after. But yeah, I guess. Sure. Okay, yeah, so score him. Ch- I mean, you know, it's funny. I scored him a two, too. So it, it doesn't even matter. It's, <laughs> it's a, <laughs> they all came out at the end of the movie anyway. It's not like they came out in the beginning. Um, yeah. so I gave it a two anyway, but you're right. Josh Brolin was actually, he was really good as, yeah. um, as the character. He was very well believable. I liked him a lot, but the sad thing is, is that he showed up like in the last 10 minutes of the movie, 10, 15 minutes of the movie. I believe he showed up yeah. towards the end. I didn't like it. I was like, what the hell is going on here? Like why? But kind of understand they got to, you know, push it along and I gave it a two, yeah. um, to be honest, I agree with you. I, I gave him a two. Yeah, the movie's more about the journey to get him than it is about yeah, like, the fight, him yeah. being a bad guy. Yeah, so it, it makes sense, but that's it. Okay, action scenes. All right, there's not much action in this movie. The only thing yeah. is towards the end uh, was the action, so I'm going to score the end and then the part where, um, what was his name, Baloney? Um, Matt Damon. <laughs> the guy's character. in the LaBeef. LaBeef. Yeah, LaBeef. I call him Baloney. Baloney. Tony Baloney. <laughs> Tony Baloney. <laughs> LaBeef. Um, that scene when they go into the cabin, that's like when the, actions, the cabin, yeah. yeah, that got a little bit. So here, so I'm going to score a little bit from there and then towards the ending, I gave it a three. I liked the shootout. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, but it was not higher than a three. I thought it was a good action sequence. And, and, and we always said on the show that three is a good, it's a middle ground between perfect and, you know, bad where it's one. Right. Um, so I gave it a three for good. I thought the action was good when they started shooting. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I second everything you said. I also gave it a three. 
it could have been higher because what is there is is cool. You yeah. know, like I do like the shootout in the cabinets at nighttime. Mm-hmm. It's kind of suspenseful. Both both like sets of action scenes are pretty suspenseful. <laughs> he shot him. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. That, that was, was funny. funny. Yeah. And he tried to pull his tongue out. He's like, Your tongue, you bit your tongue. He's trying to pull the rest yeah. off. Um, yeah, so like the that the scene even in the cabin where they're talking to the two guys, uh Domino Gleason and the other guy, and they're trying to get the yeah. information. And he's all that's very well done. It's suspenseful. Oh. Then there's a little shootout. I wanted to ask um, you, was the guy with yeah. the long hair, was he uh Colonel Hutz in Star uh, Wars? Hux. Yeah, and in that was Dread, the, he was the kid yep. with the eyes in Dread. That's Domino Gleason. Yeah. Okay. That was him. Okay. Wow. He yeah. was young. And yeah, and he was good in this too. He's yeah, good he was in really one good. scene. Yeah. yeah um, so you know, they're suspenseful, they're well directed, they look great, but there's not a lot of action. This is not an action movie. It is a western, and I feel like all westerns have like at least a touch, you know, there's someone's getting shot or shot at. Yeah. So there's like a, always a touch of action, but similar to the good, the bad, and the ugly, there's not a lot. What's there is cool. I gave it a three. All right, storyline. So here's where this movie very much, in my opinion, delivers in spades. This is two weeks in a row that I've absolutely loved the story of the movie. It is great. You got a girl, a headstrong girl, hiring someone to go find the killer of her dad. This is a very simple premise. There's not a lot to it, but there's great characters. Matt Damon is great. As the beef, I love him in this. <laughs> Jeff Bridges, he's, Jeff Bridges is Jeff Bridges. You know what I mean? At this point, he he always plays Jeff Bridges, but this time he's a cowboy. Um, and I made the comment the other night. I said Jeff Bridges looks like the living embodiment of whiskey. Like, yeah, if whiskey was a person, it'd be Jeff Bridges. Um, so he's great in this. Henry Steinfeld's great. Josh Brolin's great. All the performances are great. The visuals are great. And I know that 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 goes more to overall the visuals, but the storyline is. Very simple to follow. Very well executed by the Coen brothers. Five out of five. I do not have any issues. There's humor. You know, it's funny at times. Uh, I love it. I think it's a great, great, great story. Yeah, everything you said is, I mean, is actually pretty good. Even the bad guys have morals. Like, he was just, like, right. treating her good. I was like, wait a minute. She just shot one of your boys. Like, yeah. how hilarious was that? He was like, you will not kill yeah. her. Um, yeah. if I find out you will not get paid and I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. Um, I, I agree with you a hundred percent. I thought the writing was really good. Um, uh, and it's weird because I know you picked this, uh, I mean the, the fans picked this to re- yeah. review this. So, I mean, this is a good choice, um, mm-hmm. that everyone picked and I thought it was really good. I thought the story the pacing was good. The pacing yeah. was actually a really good pacing. Like it didn't. It was no dull moment. See again, Mm-mm. but uh, for those of you out there, because I, I, again, I, I know it's nitpicky because I hate. Everyone knows that I hate boring movies, and I yeah, I hate yeah. Endgame because it's three hours long, and I thought it was just boring. But it's totally different for me with westerns because I love western movies. So like yeah. for me, I could envision myself into that world when I'm watching it, and I enjoy it, and I know what I'm getting. Whereas superhero yeah. movies, I'm like, this does not need to be slow. <laughs> like, we already know what's going to happen. Don't stretch it. Um, but with that said, I gave it a five. I agree with you. Uh, Storyline, hands down. I, I gave that a five. Yeah, it's fantastic. All right. And overall? Overall, I'm very surprised that it took me 10 years to watch this movie. <laughs> to be honest with yeah. you, I mean, look, when we buy movies, some of them we rewatch because we like them a lot. But yep. there's some of them that you forget about how good they were because they're yep. not something they like. I don't watch Westerns all the time. And when I do, it's like Good, Bad, the Ugly or A Few Dollars More or, you know, Pale Rider or um, The Unforgiven. You know, a lot of Clint Eastwoods because I'm a big Clint Eastwood spaghetti Western dude. So I watch right. that because of my dad. But other than that or The Magnificent Seven, I like that one with Denzel. That, that was another one yep. that I really enjoyed. We got that coming up. Oh, yeah, there we weeks. go. Yeah. So that yeah, again, I haven't seen it, and that's a perfect time to rewatch it. But mm-hmm. this one was actually really good. It was a really good remake. I never seen the remake, so again, I did never seen it. But I, it, uh, to me, it could be a good remake. Um, yeah. but I enjoyed it. I thought it was really good. I gave it a four point five. Um, out of a five. All right, and I have written down here. The exact same score, four and a half. Uh, this is something I believe I gave it a nine. Um, I didn't. I didn't do the podcast when this came out, obviously, but I used to write reviews um, and blog and stuff. And pretty sure I gave it a nine. If I didn't, <laughs> I would give it a nine now. So four and a half out of five for me. 
The only thing that keeps it is because of well, it's just not a perfect movie. No, but it's no, darn no. close. It's darn close. Yeah. It's, it's 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 very good. The music is great. The cast is great. The direction is great. The writing is great. The vi- the visuals. Now we can kind of talk about it. The the landscape. That's one thing. The older I get, the more I enjoy about westerns is the landscape. You know. And the funny thing is, this is a western, but it's not really like out west west. It's I think it's like Arkansas that they're in and Texas. Like yeah. they're in that area, so they're not like way out in like Oklahoma or you know, like way out West, you know, anywhere like that. Um, but it looks great. You know, you get the, the, the old Western. I love the scene where they're riding the horses and the, the guys hanging from the tree, like how it looks. Um, it's cold, it's winter time and stuff. Uh, and that scene is hilarious too. When Jeff Bridges keeps kicking the kids off the house. I oh, laugh. Dude, I laugh so hard. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> he kicks the first kid off. When he comes back out, he just kicks the other one off the thing. Oh my gosh. It's hilarious. It's worth it's worth watching the whole movie just for that scene. I'm not even lying. Um, yeah. Yeah. The only thing it's, I it's gave so it good. a half a point off, and I don't know if this is you know you either, but I gave it a half a point off because we didn't get enough bad guys interaction. Yeah, like at least yeah. like them going through the journey, they interact other like you know like other bandits or something like trying to you know what I mean like trying to mess with them or something because she's a girl or or something like if that. If this movie did that thing where like while we're following the heroes like if they would just check in on josh brolin and see what he's doing yeah could have been 10 out of 10 you know what i mean but because you never have any idea and then they just catch up to him pretty much um think of like you ever see the movie no country for old men no um okay that's a great movie it's a it's like it's pretty much a western but it's like in modern times Mm. but anyway they do that like you're constantly you know like what the villain's doing even though him and the main guy are not in, in interacting with each other okay yeah so if they would have done that with this it would have been um and i think no country for old men's a cohen is that a cohen brothers movie too i think that's cohen brothers movie too it's amazing we should probably review that at some point uh but yeah it's uh i give it a nine or four and a half so overall total score for me that comes out to a 19 and a half out of 25 what's yours dude we're uh, we're so close i gave it a 19 you're a half a point oh, up yeah. um yep that's crazy. Well, because I did a four point five. Yeah, yeah, four point five. I got a, gave a two to the villain, a three. Um, we were tied there. Now we're tied in the storyline. We're tied throughout. Yeah, it was just we had the all character. ties. We had all ties except I gave the lead a five and you gave a four and a half. That's yeah, the that's crazy. Yeah, a, a it's nine. a great movie. It is. This is a great movie. I'm loving the western so far. So, uh, um, please, if you guys are enjoying it, make sure you subscribe. Next week, Alex. I know you're looking forward to this one. Because I put you on to this movie next week. We will be watching and reviewing 310 to Yuma. Oh, the, the, yeah. Another remake. So we're doing a couple of remakes in this, you know, uh, rewatch. Because there's an old version of this. But we're watching the Christian Bale, Russell Crowe version. Yeah. Directed by James Mangold. I have not seen this in years. But I remember liking it so much that I told you to watch it without even having seen it in like 10 years. Um so I know you've been you've been waiting for this one to come. It's up. For, yeah, because you told me to pick it up. I picked it up in 4K. Yeah. I was I, I was in love. I mean I I mean again I saw it a few months ago. I mean I think I'm, yeah yeah a few in last year <laughs> technically last year is when I mm-hmm. saw it because I picked it up on a cheap cheap on Amazon. That's right. And honestly, yeah. I, oh, I can't wait to break stink uh sink my teeth into the sink it in there. This will be spoiler alert. You guys yeah. know I like to say it. Spoiler. This will be the first one. Uh, the action's getting more than a two or a three. Uh, yes. I'll just leave that. I'll yeah. leave that there. Oh, absolutely. Um, so um, it's our first true like, and, action Western. And I will say this too. And the villain also is going to be higher than a three. Oh, yeah. I will say that oh, it yes. will be guaranteed higher than a three. We don't know where, but <laughs> I'm going to rewatch it. But it's going to be those two categories are going to be really high for next week. Um, yeah. So it's going to be looking forward really, to it. So yeah. that's what we got. And then we have Magnificent Seven, and then we have one other one. These were all voted on by you guys. So um, I don't remember what the last one was right now, but I'll be telling you next week what that one is. Yeah, I mean, other than that, so we have Last Blood for next week, and we have 310 to Yuma, and then we're going to start our brand new franchise. But, of course, that following Monday, we're going to be going live with our rankings for you guys. You guys can join us with our Ramble rankings live on that Monday, like always. We love to hear everybody else's ramble rankings to see how quirky it is because some people like two and three, and that could be on the higher ranks than the other. So uh, with that right. said, 
If you want to follow Nate over on Instagram, follow Nate Flix Reviews on his Instagram mm-hmm. account. Check out his podcast with him and his friends. Nate Flix Movie Reviews on Apple Podcast, Stitcher, anywhere you listen to your podcasts on. Levels of Geeks, you can follow us on our YouTube uh, our YouTube page also. Levels of Geeks, if you have not subscribed, but of course, our social media account, Levels of Geeks, across the board. Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, of course, YouTube. And then check out our website where we have all our videos. I mean, entire videos. We're still working on the Unveil the Grail section of the page. And we're going to have also Dave's channel page there for you guys also. So you can check out everything of Dave's. I have Nate's nice. stuff. Um, so, yeah, we're going to be putting a lot of stuff up on the website um, also. And we have a Discord. Forgot to say that. Oh, we have a Discord. Oh, nice. If you want to join us on the Discord, you can check out everything that's going on and, and join the community. It's actually pretty fun. I'll put everything on the description. Um, other than that, he's your host, Nate. And I that's am right. Alex Figueroa. Be awesome to each other and geek out.